What's up? I'm Broccoli Builds, and today I will be showing you how to make a milk carton cafe. This video is actually kind of a tutorial, but my building style is weird, so let's hop into it. We're starting off here with this color palette. I'm not too sure if I'll use all of these colors, um, but we'll try. Um, the first row is like pink for the actual milk carton itself, the second row is for the strawberry, and the third is white for details. And it's smooth quartz, of course. This square that I have here is a 15 by 15, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> let me, wait, let me actually count this really quick. Uh, yeah, it's 15. Okay, anyways, and then I'm doing, um, an 11 by 11 box on the inside for the milk carton itself. I started off with glass and then I didn't really like that, so I switched to concrete. Then I want the milk carton to be 12 blocks tall. So here's me just measuring it out, making sure that I like the height. I figured about 12 blocks tall just so it was like a little bit bigger than a square because I wanted it to be like a really squished one. And then I'm just marking out how I want the top to fold in. Cause like if you picture a milk box, you can like think like, oh, it's like a box. <laughs> and then it has like the weird triangle part at the top. So that's, that's really fun. But of course I don't want the entire thing to be concrete. I want it to be kind of like a gradient. So I want it to start with concrete which I'm doing right here. And then I want it to like fade into wool and then into the glass itself. So it's kind of like, it's got like a level of milk in it, you know, you know, you know? And if you think I'm going way too fast, don't worry, at the end I'll post screenshots. So it's a little bit easier to follow along. I feel like this tutorial in itself is kind of like just watching me, how I process through the building and then maybe that'll help you build it. Here I am starting with the wool deciding if I like it. I do, I think it looks good. And then I add a couple bubbles in it just for a little bit more detail. And then I wrap it up and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven blocks tall. So then I add the remaining five, I think, to the top. And how I did this, I, and I like, really wanted a big strawberry on the front, but I really struggled because I wanted it to be sideways at first. And then I eventually realized I could, I cannot do a sideways strawberry. So that took a while. And by a while, I mean like a long time. And then of course the strawberry wasn't centered. So I added this weird bar on the side, which I feel like you could pretend it was like the milk title or something, I guess. And then I just build up the glass on all the sides. And add details. I wanted this side, which is the right side, to have like a nutrition facts thing on it. And so I decided to add one of those and then some little strawberries. On the side, I didn't really know what to do, so I just kind of added strawberries. <laughs> They're really ugly, but it's okay. No one looks on the left side anyways. And then for the back, I just wanted to have it be basically the same as the front, but with no door. So it's pretty much just a reverse of the front. Now, for the top, I wasn't too sure how I was going to do it, but literally the first time that I tried just making, I guess, a slant, it like worked out perfectly. So I'm just adding like a block, like how you would a roof, but instead of stairs, just normal blocks. All in pink glass, of course. And then when you think of like a milk carton, you like also think about like the white bit at the top. So I added that. And of course, some detailing on the sides, maybe like their words or something. I'm not sure. Use your imagination. 
and then on the inside it has like this little weird slant thing so I do like another row of blocks basically just adding blocks higher and higher and higher just like I did on the roof side but on the inside I actually started um doing the floor in like uh the crimson planks but I was like eh, this is kind of dark because I wanted um since there was so much light coming in from like the clear milk bottle I wanted flooring and like the entire vibe of it to be really light so I swapped out the crimson planks for oak wood and it definitely made it a lot brighter okay this pisses me off because there's two oak slabs. One is petrified and the other is just normal oak. Like, what is the difference? There's literally no difference. Like, you can't even tell a difference. So why do they have petrified and normal oak? And why is it only in slabs? It's the weirdest thing ever. I don't understand. Anyways, I added a quick little counter and it took me so many tries to get this counter right. But I ended up using a crap ton of trapdoors. Just literally crimson trapdoors everywhere in this build. I had kind of like a counter in the back for the appliances to put on later. Yep. And I added seating, of course, because what's a cafe without a little bit of seating? I didn't know exactly how I wanted my chairs to be in the beginning, but I think I ended up with some good ones. It was kind of hard figuring out the floor plan for all the chairs. And then I realized, ah, quartz, smooth quartz, my precious baby, of course. I love it so much, why don't I make the chairs out of it? So that's what I did. Amazing, 10 times better, 10 out of 10, love it. So I decided to do the rest of it with quartz chairs and I'm so glad I did, it looks amazing. Then I add just a crap ton of shelves everywhere. Cause I figured, I mean, cafe's got a lot of stuff on the walls right right and then i decided i was not content with just a lower floor so i wanted to add a second floor to add the cool little island or like counter thing chairs those are cool and then of course i heard these guys i absolutely hate these guys like so much like why it's literally a flat world where are you coming from there's no villages nowhere so i just uh burn them in lava i'm definitely not evil you can't this is this is not murder it's uh it's righteous and it's um it's necessary wow look at them just die oh and there's evidence just we'll burn the evidence too there like nothing even happened amazing and you know it leaves of course another staple in broccoli build builds i feel like adding leaves to everything just makes it like 20 times better like oh green love that for appliances now in minecraft there isn't any like coffee making supplies so i decided to add sea pickles because sea pickles are obviously super important in cafes and just mm. i mean they don't look too bad you could pretend they're like cups or something i guess <laughs> and a little painting just i guess to look at because when you're working behind a counter all day you just need a painting every once in a while you know and then I add a crap ton of little potted plants just everywhere and some oxidaisies because I love those. 
with a gold baby. Lovely. It's looking really good, not gonna lie. Here's a little quick look at it. I'm loving how it looks with like the lanterns and stuff on the inside. Ooh, love it. Oh, and I should probably get rid of this color palette that I didn't really use, but eh, it was helpful. And I'll just get rid of this thing. You don't need you don't need to see it anymore. I'm sure. And a straw, because what milk carton isn't a milk carton without a straw? I was gonna add like a sign hanging off of it, but it just looked like there was some weird junk hanging off the straw, which you really don't want. And of course, gotta add leaves. I feel like it's kind of weird to have like leaves hanging on a milk carton, but it makes it look a lot better. So I mean, whatever floats your boat. I feel like the trick with leaves is you just kind of add them in a clump and then if you add like a couple little dangly things, it looks so good. I added a little bit of a path to the front. I added some variation, like this cobblestones around, and a bunch of grass. The shader pack I use kind of makes the grass shadows look a little weird, but I feel like it's worth it because the grass is just so necessary. Add some lanterns for final touches, and oh, looking gorgeous. A very lovely inside, pink, bright, lots of leaves, and then of course the top area with a cute little balcony and some storage. Then you get the final look at the outside. And I am so happy with this build. I think it turned out just absolutely wonderful. And if you like this, you can see a really quick speed build of it on my TikTok at Broccoli Build. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe and like for more. It means a lot and I appreciate it. Here's the um, screenshots just really quick. You can pause the video if you wanna see them slower. And yeah, thanks for watching.